Hello Aries, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 23rd of October. The sun powers into the deepest, the most passionate part of your situation on Monday. Now he's going to join with the expansive, vibrant energies of Jupiter for the rest of the week. When it comes to your business interests, marshalling your long-term financial picture and resources, this can be a period of great possibility, but you have to seize the moment with both hands. This is because Jupiter is about good fortune, but not if we're passive to the process. We have to get stuck in. And the Sun's combination with Jupiter is just about one of the luckiest of all planetary influences. Modern astrology likes to play down the possibility of good luck, putting it more on the personal responsibility of ourselves, and we use the timing of planets to make our moves. So if you are thinking about investing in something, being much more self-confident about your ideas and resources, or you want to transform something around your property uh, situation, either in terms of rental or buying, this can be a good time to go for it. But this can also be a brilliant week to be very thoughtful and looking out for someone who's less fortunate. The link between Mercury and also Neptune could see you being very empathetic and very aware, even if something's unspoken, about what's going on underneath the surface. So if you do get a hunch about something this week, it's important you listen to it. Now, Mars is also going to be forging a semi-sextile to both Jupiter and the Sun, and this gives you a lot of potential confidence around relationships. And if you are fortunate enough to be in one which is going well, it could take a giant step forwards this week. One area which could be a bit more tricky, however, comes on the back of the quarter moon later in the week. This is in Aquarius. If you're going to be ultra-idealistic about some of your long-term plans, it could inhibit you a little bit if you do need to be a bit more business-like. But the eighth house is very much about internal transformation too. Some parts of your life may fade away and make way for new growth, but if there is something you're really excited by, the chances are it can sweep in in the most dazzling uh, of ways. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now. Hello, thank you so much for watching my video. I'd love you to join me at my Horoscope Ace app. You can find this at www.horoscope-ace.com. You can use it through Android, iOS, Apple or Facebook. Check out your Ascendant or your Moon site or download your free birth chart. There's all your favourite videos, plus there are daily, weekly, monthly and yearly horoscopes for general, love, Chinese and Indian astrology. If your passion is tarot, there's my brilliant three-card Money or Love Tarot readings too. And it's all there at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thank you.